Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Jay Pelham here from Pelham and Jr. As always, we just want to say thank you to each and every one of you out there who supports our company. Um, you've been buying our sample packs, watching our videos, connecting with us on social media. We really appreciate you. Um, we really hope that everybody out there um, can still find ways to be creative and stay inspired. Uh, but most importantly, just stay safe. All right. So, you know, definitely make sure y'all guys are being safe out there. I know that's exactly what we're trying to do. And uh, in case you've been wondering what we've been doing with our free time, I've been making beats. You feel what I'm saying? So um, if you're a producer, if you make music, this is the perfect time to get in the lab and just, you know, I don't know, just pump out heat. Um, so many of you may or may not know, we recently dropped a pack called Synergy. And from a sound design perspective, it's probably the most fun I've had in a, in a long time making a sample pack just because um, we really stretched ourselves. We really tried to think out of the box with how we put it together. Synergy is a really cool pack because it was inspired by artists like um, James Blake, like Francis in the Lights, um, like Lido. And there's even some Chance the Rapper vibes in there. It has a really electronic and glitchy vibe. Um, there's also some really cool atmospheric and warm textures and tones in there as well. And so we'll jump into the pack and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And if you go to our website, PelhamandJr.com, if it's not on the front page, just type in the search bar Synergy and you'll see it come up right here. And it looks just like this. Um, before we jump into it, uh, real quick, just want to remind everybody uh, to just make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications uh, so that anytime we come out with a new video, new tutorial, review, sample pack, you'll be among the first to know. Also, follow us on social media at Pelham and Junior, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff and connect with us. Hit us up. we love to hear from you. Quick disclaimer, though, before we get into this beat, uh, Synergy is a purely melodic pack, which basically means there are no drums in the actual sample pack. Um, so all the drums that you're going to hear on this beat are just drums from my own personal stash. So... Let's dig in. So what I want to do, um, instead of building the track from scratch, I'm going to actually let you hear the finished product, the finished track that I made on Ableton. And then uh, after we hear from start to finish, we'll actually jump into it and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and deconstruct every track and show you exactly what I did in, in the process of making this beat. All right, let's get to it. So that's pretty much it. And as you can hear, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated, but it definitely has a cool like atmospheric trap vibe, which is, is exactly what we were going for. So basically when I started um, thinking about what kind of beat do I want to make, uh, first thing I did was I started with a loop in this case. And so we'll just actually move our loop to, to the beginning and we'll just solo that one loop and I'll let you hear that real quick. So that loop actually comes from uh, composition number 10. So um, when you first open up and unzip the file for Synergy, this is what the sample pack looks like. Um, there are 74 melodic loops in total, which basically means that um, there are 12 melodic compositions. And each of the compositions 
has all of the individual stems um, tracked out. And so that comes up to 72 files in total. Um, it also has a lot of melodic one shots. There are about 106 melodic one shots in this pack. And, you know, they range from 808s, basses, keys, different chords, plucks, leads, as well as vocals, um, like one shots and phrases as well. The loop that I got is a sound called um, Piano Strings. And this is the actual composition that it came from, number 10. And so I'll play that real quick. So it already has a crazy vibe just by itself. I could have just threw drums on that and called it a day, but I didn't want to just do that, which you could, right? Nothing wrong with doing that, but I want to do something a little different. I wanted to take that vibe and make it my own. So what I did was I really liked this sound called uh, piano strings. And it's basically just a piano, but the back end of it, the sustain is more of uh, the sound of strings. So I basically took this sound right here and I just dragged it into an audio track. Um, and then I just moved it down three semitones and I put just some light EQ on it. Um, I just pulled out some bottom end and that's basically how I end up with the loop that I have right now. Next, I wanted to add a bass line. So I could have just taken the bass line that came with this composition, but again, I wanted to take it in a whole different direction. So what I ended up doing, uh, and what's cool about Ableton, I'm fairly new to Ableton, but one thing I really uh, like and, and attracted me to Ableton uh, was a lot of the tools here. So uh, the sampler is actually really dope. So what I did was I created a MIDI track, like the one we have down here. And I'll go ahead and solo that one, right? And so I pulled up the sampler and then I actually got this one shot called Calm Sub Note and it's the note of F. So if we pull up the sample pack, come down into melodic one shots and then bass, uh, here's the actual one shot that I used. So it's just about a four second one shot of this uh, bass note and so what I did was I dropped it into the sampler and so by default it'll kind of sound like it'll sound like that when I play it so right out of the box whenever you just pull in the sound uh, the sustain mode it's just gonna be on this first option here but what's really cool is you can make a whole playable instrument out of it using the sampler so basically if you use this second option here on sustain mode and then you can use these sliders here to adjust the start and end of the loop as well as like this crossfade. You can play with this crossfade option. You can see here it's like highlighted in blue. And essentially what that does is that whenever you play it, whenever the sound plays to this point, it'll just loop it continuously. So you can go from a one shot that you play and it stops here to something that it's more like uh, a synthesizer. So you see here, once it gets here, it just continues to play. And what's cool is you could play with different things like the glide or, or portamento. And yeah, and I was able to pretty much, you can see here, I made a whole preset. I made a whole bass just out of this one, this one shot that I got from the pack. And so um, here's the MIDI for that that I came up with. And so I ended up committing that to audio. And that's how we come up with our baseline up here on track two. So next thing, once I had this loop in the bass here, 
I just uh, opened up the drum rack, put some drum sounds in there, and I made a quick drum loop. All right, so uh, once I added a drum loop, the next thing I did was I added these vocals here. And so I'll let you hear that real quick. All right, so all I did here for these vocals is again, I went back into the sample pack. I went into melodic one shots and then vocals. And I used two of them. I actually used this first one called um, A U. <laughs> and so I'll play that real quick. So again, it's just a one shot, it has a really long tail at the end. And then I used this other one here. And then I just dragged them into an audio track in Ableton. And then I took this first one here and I actually reversed it. And that's how we get this, this one that kind of, uh, it kind of reverses and, and, and rises back into the shot. You kind of get this cool reversed vocal effect sound. All right, so the next thing I did um, was I took another one shot. And so this one shot is called Drip Pluck Note 1, and it's, and it's the note of A flat. So if we come here, I go into Synth Plucks. Boom. And so Drip Pluck, this is basically it right here. All right, so I just took that one note. And again, um, I opened up the sampler here in, in Ableton and I didn't do anything special with it. I just dropped it in. Um, and then on the actual track itself, I don't even have any effects. I just straight up have just this one shot. And so it comes out sounding like this. All right, so um, after that, um, I took another one shot, and I'll, I'll kind of get into more uh, some of the other stuff that, that I did as well. So um, this sound right here. So I actually got a bit more involved with this one. So I took a one shot. It's called Bounce Pluck Note uh, One A Flat. So again. I went into one shot and then synth plucks. And so here we have this one called bounce pluck. And so I'll just play that real quick. Yeah, my bad for my uh, headphone users. It's kind of loud. Um, but I just took that and I wanted to kind of create my own ambience and my own movement with it. So I plucked, you know, I dragged that into the sampler. Um, and then after that, I t have an EQ. I just kind of pulled off a little bit of high end here. Nothing too crazy because I wanted to kind of make it darker and, and blend it more into like the, the bottom of, of the track. Um, I added a reverb on top. I'll just add a little bit of shimmer here um, just so that I could diffuse the sound, kind of make it bigger and, and kind of wash it out a little bit. And then on top of all of that, uh, it's this plugin called Shaper Box. Um, and it's basically just side chain. Um, I can basically just kind of make the track bounce and breathe uh, to a tempo. So you can use a tool like Shaper Box. You can use an actual compressor with side chain. Um, you could do volume automation. There's a bunch of ways you could do it. Um, but, you know, it's just a cool way to create movement out of a sound that might otherwise take up way too much space in your track. And so here it is 
without those effects. Yeah, nothing too interesting. But once I add the sauce to it, yeah, it's a cool trick, right? Boom, so now I was able to create more movement in my track. Um, I also committed the, the bass here to audio and I just created a, a quick little drop in the beginning. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, so um, now that I have that, just add in some hi hats to give it some more bounce. So let's see what that sounds like. So nothing too crazy. I just got two hi hats. One that's like a constant rhythm, and the other one just kind of adds some some variation and some movement to that as well. All right, so uh, the last thing that I did was I took another loop. Um, and this loop is from a completely different composition. So that's another thing. A lot of people, when they use sample packs, they tend to, uh, they only put sounds together that were like made together, if that makes sense. Um, for example, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if you go into the actual sample pack, right? So I started with, a loop from composition number 10. And so not only do we have the full composition, but we have all the different parts. There's like bells and there's a pad, there's a lead, there's a bass in here. And so a lot of people, they just take these stems and only these stems and they just put them together. But you can mix and match sounds, loops, one shots from any number of places and you can you know, put them together and make something completely different completely cool so that's what i did i uh, went into composition number 12 so i'll let you hear what that one sounds like So those vocals sound familiar, right? So those vocals actually come from number 12 as well. So not only uh, in the pack do we have the loop, um, just how they're played here in the composition, but we turned them into one shots as well. So I could have used anything like that. So I'm, I'm gonna let you hear this, this, this pad. I didn't even use this in the beat, but. That, like that granular glitchy type vibe oh my goodness yeah this 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 definitely ain't gonna be the last beat that i make with this but i just want to let y'all hear that real quick and it got nothing to do with the beat but yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of proud of that sound so what i actually did end up using in the beat uh was was this here it's called uh deep blue ep So it's just an electric piano that has a little bit of reverb and, and, and stuff on. It's real warm and uh, atmospheric. So I just, again, I just want another melody. Um, I want to just kind of add to the ambience of it. And so I dropped that in here, a little bit of light EQ. Um, I just pulled out some bottom end just because I want it to sit a little better in this particular track. So let's see what that sounds like. And again, what I did, um, I dropped it down three semitones just because that's the vibe I was looking for. And I wanted to uh, make sure it was in the same key as the other samples. Um, 
And since the vocals were from the same composition, I was able to use the same thing. I dropped it down three semitones um, for the vocals here so that I could bring it into pitch with all the rest of the stuff that I had going on. So that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. Um, I started with a loop. Um, the Probably the most complicated thing I did was I basically made an instrument out of a one shot using the sampler, which is super, super dope. Uh, I'm definitely doing more, exper more experimentation with that in the future. And what's cool is Ableton lets you save a whole preset so I can use that in any track from now on. Um, and also I was able to take this synth and add some movement to it uh, in ambience by putting like some volume automation on top of like a reverb. So I hope y'all picking up these nuggets. All right. So this ain't just sound design stuff. This is just stuff you can use in your production and get the most mileage out of the sounds in, in, in the stuff that you have. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to leave links in the description for the sample pack for the beat. Uh, make sure that you hit us up on our website, PelhamandJr.com, as well as social media at Pelham and Junior. And, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Like, you think it's fire? You think it's trash? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be down here checking for that. I definitely want to hear what y'all think it is. Um, also, yeah, just make sure y'all connect with this and any questions you may have. If I skipped over something, if you're like, oh, man, how did you do that? You didn't really elaborate on that part. Um, can you tell me more? Ask those questions below as well. So, as always, uh, we appreciate you. This is Jay Pelham from Pelham and Jr. Um, make sure you check out the Synergy Sample Pack as well as all the other cool stuff that we have coming out. Stay safe and please uh, just be kind, man. Yeah. So, peace. Appreciate y'all. Hey.